in the realm of death and blood that is in the entity's realm, some survivors and killers are above the average. You hardly see them, but when you do, it could be either a blessing for you, or a curse. These are the legends of Dead by Daylight. Tubero, the Wolf Guard. Isaac Nunez Oliveira was born in an area where earthquakes and underwater eruptions were frequent and learned firsthand the importance of helping other people in times of trouble. On boating trips with his father, Nunez quickly became enamored with the freedom that came with wakeboarding and decided to join the Marines. While Nunez excelled at learning new skills and easily matched his peers in physical testing, he was highly regarded for his natural leadership and his insistence on civilian safety. After he transitioned and amassed enough experience, he entered selection training to join the DAE. Because of his identity as a transgender person, Nunez had to work even harder to prove himself, and he did being particularly notable for his insistence on civilian safety. The frost grenade Nunez created to halt the detonation of explosives caused a lot of buzz. Global counter-terrorist unit Rainbow recruited him into the group under the call sign Tubero to assist in operation against the terrorist Demos. One day, on one of his off days, he sailed alone in his family boat. The warm breeze on his skin turned into a dark fog leading him to navigate the unknown. When he awoken, he was somewhere else. It felt like a beach, but it wasn't. What was this place? Just so much sand here. But then he heard the screams. Someone was being chased. There was no time to think. Only for action. Now, Dubaro in this unknown place had to protect these people from the worst threats. From killers, to monsters. Civilian casualties? Nah. If Tubaro arrived at this place as a main character, these would be his perks. Borrowed time. You are filled with an unexpected energy when saving an ally from a hook. Survivors you unhook benefit from the following effects. Extends the duration of their endurance status effect by 10 seconds. Extends the duration of their haste status effect by 10 seconds. Chemical Trap In the fog, an officer must adapt to the materials at hand. After repairing generator for a total of 50%, Chemical Trap activates. Press the active ability button while near a drop pallet to install a trap, which stays active for 120 seconds. When the killer breaks the trap pallet, its trap explodes, spraying the killer with a chemical compound that slows them by 50% for 4 seconds. Chemical trap deactivates after triggering successfully or once the timer runs out. Blast mine. When direct combat is not an option, you still find ways to strike back. After repairing generators for a total of 50%, blast mine activates. Press the active ability button while near a partially progressed generator to install a trap, which stays active for 120 seconds. When the killer damages the trap generator, its trap explodes halfway through, stunning them and blinding anyone nearby. Blast mine deactivates after triggering successfully or once the timer runs out. Tubero, a member of Rainbow, and someone who does everything to protect and save others, now runs through the fog protecting and saving people. Just another day's work.